All right, cool. All right, so clean pull. So we're going to take off. We're going to get our power position hold. This thing is super tight. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so power position. Power position is here, right? This is our power position. So from the power position, we're going to do our clean pull. So, so where we're at is our power position. The clean pull literally just standing up. That's going to be a clean pull, okay? So if we're, even if we're here, the first thing is to see if anybody knows. From here, what should I do? Somebody, anybody. Yeah, okay, cool. So back, and then I'm moving my legs, okay? So if I'm here, I'm in a loaded position. Remember, the bar should be sliding back, and now we're in a good position to basically jump, okay? Okay, we're trying to use our legs. Do not use your arms to come and curl it up, okay? I know a lot of you guys are strong, but make sure you guys are, your arms are just kind of like a, just noodles, okay? Think about noodles. You can wiggle your arm if you have to. Don't overuse your arm, okay? So, clean pull for the power position. So, power position's here. That's once you do three, okay? So, one, two, three. Okay? Go ahead. Make sure the bar is not deviating from your body. Close to your body as So it's going to be the same thing, except now we're going to use a little bit more power to get the bar a little bit higher, okay? So instead of it just being a little baby bump, so you guys saw this, and then you just saw this. Now we're actually going to use our legs a little bit more to get the bar. It should be kind of coming up to around shoulder width or shoulder height, so that we're actually using our legs, okay? So from here, up, okay, and back. Okay. Again. Okay. Let me try three. It'll be the same thing except you're using more of your legs, more of that jump. Don't jump just yet. But think about being on your toes. Remember, we're trying to feel our legs, our feet working. Don't try to overpower with your shoulders or your arms. Okay. So we're still trying to get here. Okay. And then... Yeah, good. Right. Can you rush? Okay. Take your time. Step in the corner from here. Back straight. So um, I struggle with this myself. It's just timing. Okay? So it takes 
a little bit of practice for you to get the right rhythm down so that it appears to go, okay? So just be patient, that's gonna be your biggest thing, is to be patient, you know, from here, roll the bar across your leg, and then you make the left. Everyone good? So the bar should not be deviating from your body. I see a lot of you guys smacking it with your hips and the bar's coming out. If this eventually transfers over, when you are maxing out or when you guys are trying to go heavy, you guys are gonna find yourself chasing the bar out, okay? The, the bar should be coming up in a linear path. It shouldn't be coming out when you way of sending it out. Um, this part takes patience. Okay, patience for you guys to get your back neutral and then come up. The biggest problem I see, again, is you guys trying to rush it or, or gun it, and you guys are just shooting the hips out. You guys are on your, hip, on your toes, and you're chasing it out, okay? It's gonna make you guys miss some big lifts. I saw it, every, I've seen it every single year. Someone just tries to hit the bar out, and it comes all the way out here, and then you're trying to catch it, okay? It's gonna take forever to get out here. Okay, so the next one is going to be the power clean. So again, it's going to be the same thing. The only thing, now, the only thing now should be that you're doing the front rack position. So the front rack position being elbows up. So here, okay. you can tell with me I need a little bit of flexibility work, right? My big ass is a lot of bench. Okay, so again, it will be the same concept with the legs here. And then think about like the old Western movies, those those elbows are the gums and you're trying to shoot, okay? So once you come up and you're up on your toes, the bar's coming up, think about shoot, okay? It's okay to start to hear the feet working, okay? So feet working means like, right? I know a lot of you guys don't have lifters, but if you have your hands or whatever, um, you should start to hear the, the clacking on the, on the wood, okay? So it's gonna be the same thing, okay? Eventually, it'll transfer over into the bar. If you guys are having trouble with this, that may be a sign for you guys to work on some more flexibility stuff or take longer to go ahead and get the full mobility of full range of motion. If you guys are more stiff than another person and somebody else isn't do it, doing it, that's fine. You take the time out of your day or your practice or show up early and get your mobility work in so that you're able to properly catch and not lose your weight because you're just right here, okay? So go ahead and try. So we're doing three of the power cleans. Good, David, good. Nice, Andy. Nice, bro. Nice, up. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Zachary Sims, use more of your legs, okay? I see your arms working the whole time. Okay. Uh, again, if you guys don't hear your feet working, then it's a signal for you guys to, to know that you guys are overworking with your arms. So if you're not hearing at least like a little pop or a little hop, then you know that you're overworking with your arm, okay? Uh, all right, three. 
Okay, uh, clean, pull, hang at the knee. Okay, so now it's going into phase three of the power clean or the clean. This one is going to be now from below the knee. Okay, um, and it's going to be hard because you guys have to you guys have to actively think about that slide on your leg. Okay, um, I'm gonna put these down. Real quick. So the reason why is because. If you got to go in like bare skin and it's like, let's say you have to wear your short shorts, either chalk or powder your leg or something so it can slide a little bit easier or just bust the bad boys out the long shorts, right? Um, so they're just sliding up and not getting stuck. Yet. Okay. So from hand at knee, so now this is the phase that we were talking about just now, okay? So now we're at the knee, we're coming up and sliding back. This is the biggest part that I'm seeing a lot of you guys struggle with, okay? So from knee, Come over, over the knee, straightening my back out, and now it's gonna be the same thing we just did, okay? So from the knee, okay? Work on feeling that slide or that glide with the bar through your, um, your thighs, okay? So we're gonna do three of these as well. So from the knee, get over the knee, slide back, and now we're gonna shoot and go all the way to the, to the power plane, okay? So it'll look like this, okay? So hang at knee. We're gonna start. Yeah. Hang at the knee, hang at the knee. Remember after the year, there you go. Keep working. I saw that. Be patient to have that bar right up your body. super straight okay you have to clear your knees first because it's really hard if you're, if you're already back here and you're trying to clean your or clear your knees it's gonna be really really hard okay so it's okay to hopefully I can see it, to be a little bit more bent over in this position so that the bar can clear your knees first and then we start to slide our, our back straight okay so be patient enough to first be over the bar so shoulders over the bar over your knees here so deadlift here, and then at that point, now we're starting to slide back, okay? Try to avoid again being too far back too soon, because then, you see this already? My knees are in the way, okay? So it's okay to be a little bit farther over the bar at first, clear the knee, and then once you clear the knee, back straight, and then it's coming up, okay? Um, so we'll do three of those, so it'll be clean, Clean pull from the floor. So clean pull from the floor. So here. Okay, that's what it looks like. So from the floor, patient, 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 put your back straight. And bar up. Okay? Go ahead and do three of those. Yeah. 
extra movement. Use your legs, you're trying to use your arms. Do it again. Use your legs, yeah, sorry. Get your back straight, and then go. Oh, use your legs, put your arms. So you're, you guys see it? You're trying to use your arms a little earlier. Like, I don't know why not. Use that. You're trying to, you're, you're strong, okay? So you're trying to use naturally your arm to help you pull it up. I want you to think about, when I had my hand on there, the point of that was the resistance. It should be enough resistance where you're not allowed to pull your arms. It's just your leg looking through the floor. Okay, yeah, that was better. Okay. It's natural though, I, I do it too. Yeah, you yeah, good. Anybody have any trouble with these? Anybody who can tell me? You guys are also 
So try and get this bar with your legs up towards like your eyes, okay? So same concept as the, uh, the clean, back straight, you need to take off, okay? Okay? Go ahead and do three of those. Remember this is overhead. 
This is going overhead, okay? So you guys have to put the bar overhead. Do not play with the bar. The weight is overhead, okay? The bar is overhead. It's gonna freaking smack you right in the head and make you a piggy bank, but you're gonna lock out, okay? So don't be nice to it, okay? I know I'm talking about legs, but we need to have stability, okay? Drive the legs up, or the legs up, okay? Do not question yourself up top. This part right here is the tricky part, so where you have to build trust um, in your abilities, okay? If you don't feel safe with a uh, heavier bar or with weight, feel free to do it with a, a stick or a PVC pipe, just so you gotta get down the movement, okay? It's okay to crawl right now, that's kind of where we're at, we're crawling to get to the end phase. So we're getting to um, the power snatch. So again, this one is overhead. Do not play with the bar, just put it there. So from here, okay, again. Okay. Do not play with the bar, put it overhead. Okay. Lock out your lock out your elbows. Go ahead and do three of those. To get the bar here before you take off, okay? Um, do not bang the bar forward. Again, you guys are gonna see this, or the other one is you gotta touch it with your butt all out, okay? So it's not a good position in any any way you cut it up, okay? So make sure that when you're receiving the bar, that you guys are stacking your weight over your body, so in a straight line, okay? So over, not bent over. Okay, so this will go for the clean, this will go for the snatch. Um, so this is the, the same concept. Um, we're just going at the knee. So here, be patient and then come up, okay? Okay, uh, go ahead and hit three of those.
next one we're doing, this is going to be power snatch. So power snatch from the floor. So we're going, we're actually doing the whole thing. Um, we're not squatting anything just yet. So it's going to be the same concept. Some of you guys for the clean are coming back a little bit too far on the deadlift portion. So some of you guys are doing the actual deadlift correct if it was deadlift only. But this is a deadlift for the clean or the snatch. So be it over the bar a little bit longer. Okay, so when I talk about deadlift, I put a video on pages. I talked about packing your lats, which is great, but don't be too eager to come back. And again, your knees are in the way, okay? Clear the knees, let the bar come over, and clear the knees first, back straight, and then, and then come through, okay? Be cautious or be mindful of not rushing the middle. The middle is your power. Um, if you see anybody struggle, it's probably going to be the middle. You guys not being patient enough to slide and get into a position where you can actually jump from. Some of you guys are getting into here and you're like, well, my legs are already out. What do I do now? And you guys are just using your arms. Your legs are going to stay down. So from the dead, see how my leg is still loaded? From here I can jump. If you're already coming up and you're doing a regular deadlift, I have no leg drive at all. There's, I'm not jumping from anywhere. Okay? There's nowhere. Versus if you got it here, you're not going to actually do it. Alright, so from the floor, uh, so from the floor, okay, I'll do one more. From the floor, clear the knee. Okay, I'm going to do three of those. If you're here, you're stable, okay? Versus if you're like on your toes and you're trying to rush up, like this is usually what I see, okay? So if you're falling or if you see yourself or feel yourself falling forward or backwards, spend some time down there and then just try and catch your balance wherever it is, okay? And then come back up, okay? Take your time in an overhead squat. Um, we will have overhead squat in our programming eventually just to kind of work on that aspect, okay? But just so you guys know, in the hole, so at the bottom of the lift, hold it, and then come back up and you'll be good, okay? So go ahead and hit three of those. Power snatch to overhead uh, squat. Power snatch to overhead squat. Good. 
Remember what I said? Start every time at the bottom if you're falling off. Remember what I said? Learn every time at the bottom if you're falling off. Tell them how you go about that. Good, 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 good. Good, nice work, very good. Yeah, hold it up, please. Oh, then I have the big snap down. Across the room, wherever, 
a shirt, something. So if you went to, let's say, a lifting competition, um, there's a rule where no one can move while you're on the platform about to lift. So if someone's shuffling around, doing all this business on TikTok or whatever, like it's not gonna fly, okay? You need to focus on a point, a focal point. Um, keep your eyes fixated on that point at every point of the lift. So clean, jerk, snatch, whatever. So fixate on it. So if you hear, I'm fixating on the back of the room, above the mirror. So I'm watching, watching, watching. Okay. So one thing that does for me is that my chest and my eyes, my chin is up. Okay. If I'm looking at the floor the entire time, you see where I'm going? Right? I'm going down, right? You need to catch with the neutral spine, everything stacked on top of each other. So I'm able to come back up. Okay. There's no time or point where we ever practice anything like this. Ever. Okay. I don't want to do that again. Okay. So overhead, straight back. Okay. Focal point. Pick anything. It doesn't matter. It could be a little polka dot in the sky or something, right? Okay. Um, we used to have a points. I think San Benito, for your San Benito boys, he's that little point like somewhere in the squat rack, maybe up top or something. And that was our focal point. Here we don't have maybe, I'm from the old school, you're like, nah man. You guys have that nice way room now, multi million dollars. We were poor, man. We're looking with like old iron stuff, man. Okay. So, um, focal points, little point, little dot somewhere, uh, somewhere neutral or a little bit tall, never super up in the air, okay? So this should start at when you're about to set up. So I'm setting up about to take a snatch or the clean or whatever. I'm focused on that point and then go ahead and perform the lift, okay? Uh, okay, move on, that's it. That's it for the snatch, any questions for the snatch? Okay, that's it. Um, now we're going into jerk. So start position is the back hand position, okay? So this is the start position for the jerk. Um, the press, um, so you're just going overhead. Okay, that's a press. Uh, dip and push, or dip and press. That's a pusher. Um, let's do that one. Yeah, let's do that for a reminder. So dip and press, or push press. Dip and then push press, okay. So, for you guys, I know I struggle with this one again, so the front rack mobility to get into this position right here, right? So dip and push press. So you're gonna dip your legs and come up. Okay, so small dip, not huge, so small dip, small dip, okay. Not the big one, this is kind of like a front squat. You don't want to do a full front squat. So a little dip, and then come up, okay. Again, little dip, okay. So this is a push press. Go ahead and start your three. So dip, small dip, big push. Good. Don't chin check yourself. Don't poke your head through. Like or feels like, 
and then you kind of decide what feels more comfortable and natural to you guys. Um, if you don't know which leg to shoot forward, um, you guys have a partner and you guys are comfortable with them touching your back, have them nudge you in the back, and whatever leg comes forward, that's what you're splitting with, okay? That's your lead leg. So go ahead and find that out if you guys don't already know. Have your partner or just fall forward. Not too rough. Just fall forward. Whatever you fall like out first, that's what you lead with, okay? No, no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I gotta teach you stuff. Hold on. Okay, I hope you guys all learn. Okay, you guys don't know how to do it now. So what I'm looking for in a split jerk, if you're doing a split jerk, if you're not doing it right now, it's not just a straight line forward, okay? It is super unstable, okay? What I'm looking for is kind of somewhat of a box in, the, in your width. So it's kind of like when they cut a sandwich, it's a split, okay? So it's this way, okay? Um, also, about the, about the split, my back leg is not straight, okay? Because look at my torso, it's pushing me forward. It's stacked over my body, you guys can see the line here. Oh, is it recovered? That's what I forgot to you. So, the split again, what it'll look like, hopefully you guys can all see me. Come around position, come down, okay? First thing you're gonna do from your front leg, Push back, and then take a step forward. Just stand up. Okay, that's the recovery. So again, it's gonna be that sandwich split. Okay, front leg first, and then back leg, and stand up. Okay, that's gonna be a recovery every single time. Why I don't want you to push from the back first. Okay, so I'm gonna split, I'm gonna push, you see that? One of the common things I'm trying to avoid from you guys is a straight back leg. Because if you can see my torso, it's putting me or pushing me forward, okay? So from that split, from that split position, front leg, whatever lead leg it is, push, and then the back leg comes forward, stand up, okay? Um, go ahead and do the two threes as well. I want you guys to get comfortable with actually splitting, okay? What I see from a lot of you guys is a little baby one, okay? This does nothing to you guys, okay? Split, 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 okay? Um, you can do it with, with or without, whatever you can do with. Split, split. Then the back leg.
good recovery. I like that. Real quick guys, if you guys are struggling with this position, something you guys could do is get in that split position. So you guys are in that split position, right? So this is a good position for split. All you're doing is going, you're going overhead and just pressing, and just to get you comfortable, because it's really scary to stabilize yourself, okay? So get in that, in that, uh, that split jerk position, and then just press up. This could be your warm up again. Um, whatever you need as individual athletes to succeed, your partner, your friend, your teammate may not do the same exact thing that you do. So that's kind of where you start to become more custom, right? Okay. Um, so for this for the footwork for your jerk, um, I want you guys to either get more comfortable with the split or get comfortable with just going overhead. Okay? So I'm not gonna like give you crap about doing one or the other whatever you guys feel comfortable with. Um, some may feel comfortable with just coming overhead and then coming back up. That's fine, that's okay. There's no superior way to do it. Um, or you can do your split jerk, so if you feel comfortable, okay? Um, if you don't feel comfortable with the split and you wanna keep pursuing it or you wanna just try maybe what feels best for you, um, do it a warm up again. Everyone's going to be individualized because you may have something that another person does not. Maybe balance. Uh, maybe you feel more comfortable with the overhead squat. That's fine. Um, choose this one. Or if you want to get more comfortable with the split, practice the split. Okay? Um, does anybody have any questions on the, on the jerk? On the split jerk before I move on? No? This is going to be the same concept as the, as the snatch. It's overhead, don't play with the bar. You have to, you have to put it there, okay? Put it overhead. Um, okay, so any more questions on anything? Clean, snatch, jerk, anything? Here's this, this is it. This is it. No, any questions? Okay, um, again, that video is available to you guys at the time that I designated. So Monday, Monday's at nine to 10, uh, Tuesday, eight to nine, I'm going on Wednesday in the morning. Uh, Thursday, I'll be there 8 to 10. Friday, I'm there from 9 to 10. So that's upstairs in the weight room. So you guys can work on this. Or if you guys want to come in on Friday, upstairs, I'll give you a workout if you show up as well. Um, so this is, a, this is the progression. If you guys want, anyone want to take a picture of it, as a reminder, a refresher, um, I put it in bed for you spinners and jumpers. Um, I'll put it in the throw strap for the throwers. If you guys want to take a picture now, Go ahead and do it before I change the, the board. I'm going to switch it over. Anybody want to take a picture of it? Let me know. Okay, you can do it after. All right. All right, this is the workout on this side. So we're doing complexes. So four lifts. Four sets of one. Uh, power cane to front squat. Uh, power snatch to overhead squat. And then this power jerk. This is where you practice either one, you either split or the overhead. And then I got a bunch of auxiliary, so alternating dumbbell bench press, alternating means one, two, three, you know, it's alternating, okay? Um, dumbbell curls, lunges, and kettlebell swings. Okay, if you guys want to do more work, I know we didn't, we had a one day less to work on, you know, certain lifts and stuff like that. Um, you guys can always come back on Friday and do it, or if you guys want to go on Thursday. Same thing, you guys can finish up your lifts. Um, and again, remember we're doing maxes in about two weeks, so right now you guys are doing um, testing that in the field, track stuff, right? We'll be maxing that in here, so testing everything we did um, in two weeks. So what I'm expecting for maxes, just so you guys know, um, it's gonna be around a three rep max, okay? Um, and then I want you guys to try and get to the barbell, okay? For you guys who are on dumbbells, if you guys are like, hey, I cannot do this, and just talk to me and then just say, hey, I did dumbbells, okay? But I want you guys all to at least try the barbell and be comfortable with it or uh, a weighted bar is cool so you guys just get the general movement. And this goes for all squat, dead, uh, bench, and then uh, clean, clean jerk and snatch, okay? Um, does anybody have any questions before we get going? We have to work out? No? Cool. 
Remember, I'm over there available for you guys. Um, hopefully this video uploads. It's super long, it's like an hour now. An hour. Um,